Ruby Volume 5, Episode 11, The More the Merrier. Now, in your time of need, I will say this before we get into the episode, I would like to note, um, Weiss did not disappear. So, I think we're gonna be fine. I don't think anything's gonna happen. I don't think we're gonna actually have, um, another pure moment. I think everything's gonna be totally fine. Crazy moment, super dramatic, but... You know, I thought they were going like whole hog with it when the um, spear started to disappear. I thought Weiss was just going to vanish. So since that didn't happen, everything's going to be fine because they totally could have done it if they wanted to. And she just hit her in the heart and it would have been game over. But she got hit like in the stomach and it came out. I was like, oh, that's really bad and shocking. And she fell. She's in shock. That's like, that's just a coma. That's like really harsh sleep. So everything's going to be fine. Uh, maybe don't go on Twitter if you're like really freaking out because there was a hilarious joke where somebody took the W out of Ruby and they said um, it's Arby's, which is hilarious. Um, but it was a good episode, obviously. Uh, crazy ending. Not what I was expecting um epic way to end off the year i'll definitely say that because it was like okay you know christmas break we didn't get an episode and i was like oh we you know i would assume we'd get one you know they could do it and you know it's two weeks the holidays how it works with christmas and new year and so i'm like all right going into it i saw on twitter that it was uh trending and i was like hmm this something's got to be crazy because even when i watch the episodes i don't see it you know trending that much on twitter and i was like all right something's something big must have happened so i'm going through the episode i'm like okay pretty cool episode we're getting to see um exactly what i wanted i think i mentioned in my last review i was like i really hope that we don't have to wait like three episodes for like this whole situation to play out where it's just like the next episode it goes right into it you know skip a little bit of time we get right to this ambush and we see this fight take place and then um you know we're gonna see blake show up and stuff like that probably in two episodes or maybe at the end of the next episode we'll see uh blake's son Ilya, and you know whoever else decides to go with her they'll officially show up and then you know absolute pandemonium then but this is definitely awesome i love this episode for um and this will be weird the sound design because of its lack of music when they're talking i think it was during the like introduction of cinder when she like first comes in and you know the whole crew is set up and everything and she's talking about uh you know don't be mad at raven leo was with us uh, for quite some time though and she talks about the vital festival and stuff like that there's like no music and i love that scene i was like all this stuff all this dialogue there's like no audio it pops in a little bit there's some moments where it shows up for sure and then of course uh once the fighting gets going it's back to you know background music uh with all the the rest of the sound design but during that whole portion there wasn't like a little hum or like you know where they do like the really really low you know nearly nearly unnoticeable audio there was nothing it was just absolute silence and dialogue so i think that was on purpose because typically uh in the show there's normally like a little bit of music or there's some sort of ambiance even if there's no music they'll be in nature or something so you hear like wind or rustling or whatever dead silence it was just audio of it was just vocals and that was it so i absolutely love the design for that uh like i said i assume that that was on purpose they know what they're doing with the show and that was a great way to do that where it was this really serious moment of just the characters realizing exactly what they're in and um you know raven being a part of that and just all the revelations kind of stacking on top of each other so that was a great way to kick things off and you know, they go through and it's like all right well you know obviously things are a little awkward when they first go in and leo's like oh there's more of you and it's like why'd you bring your weapons and stuff and then of course there's you know there's this bird there's this raven kind of just sitting up on the stoop over there and it's like you know yang sees it's like mom and so then that's when things just instantly kick off so i love the way it played out the action was good uh, if there's anything that i would have liked to have seen was like a little bit more action from yang versus uh mercury that's solely because i like the way they fight because they're like the hand-to-hand -hand fighters or hand-to-hand -hand versus foot to foot i guess however you want to look at that um but they're like the close quarters fighter so i would have loved to have seen a little bit more from them uh maybe we'll get to see that more in the next episode their little rematch but um this episode kind of made some dreams come true because this was i've been saying this forever where i was like you know i love watching the openings you know it's always like check out these two characters fighting and there's been a couple of seasons i think that started in like volume two where it would be like oh here's this interaction and that interaction never takes place and in this episode um they showed a couple of those interactions and they literally if you watch the opening hazel versus nora and ren is exactly what they show in the opening it's like the exact same it's just from a different angle but those are the literally the exact movements that they have in the opening where nora swings and he grabs the hammer and he throws her and then ren hits him and he blocks like this with both arms and i was like that is the exact movement from the opening it's just at a totally different angle it's like way far back so i was super happy with that because that's something that's always the thing where i'm like i want to believe that this is interaction is going to happen because i'm always excited to see the characters you know fighting the villains 
but it's been quite a few times where the interactions don't happen or certain villains i think it was in volume two once again where certain villains don't even show up like junior and the twins from yang's trailer they never showed up in volume two but they're like they're in that opening if you go back to watch it they're just there with mercury emerald and cinder and they never showed up they we still haven't seen them show up since yang's trailer so i was super happy to see that in this episode where it was like all right they actually have the interactions of the characters the location that they're in is actually um at least it's very similar to the location if you watch the opening it looks pretty much the same like the walls are pretty much the same color it's just obviously like a, a nondescript sort of random room that they generated just for the opening but it looks very similar to the location that they actually have in the episode so i was like i love that they really took the time to make it just like the opening because i was like that's something that you know, they always hint at and then there's stuff that just never happens like the last volume is a perfect example blake never ran into adam in the last volume but there's that scene where she's basically fighting against him like in the desert and stuff like that and that just never happened like adam's not even in the last volume so i was super happy to see that because i was like that's one of the things i'm always looking forward to is when they actually show the sequences um in the episodes that they made for the opening at the beginning of the volume so i was super happy about that the action in general was awesome we got to see uh weiss going up against a maiden which i thought was very cool we got to see like i said a little bit of yang versus mercury tiny even less of uh hazel versus nora and ren which was still cool uh jean was awesome i'm telling you watching him in this episode i swear i was having like I was having like Naruto flashbacks uh, for like the end of that series where I was like some eight gates moments. I was like, if there is ever a time, it is now um, to see Jean's semblance. And I thought we were going to see it. We did get to see Ruby um, use her powers for like a quick second and then Emerald actually knocks her out. So she gets knocked unconscious. But that does affect Cinder. And we actually get to like see her face, which I thought was cool. Like she just has nothing. There is no eye. It's just like this little shell on her face so i was like that's cool we actually see like the opening i thought it was going to be a patch which i thought was interesting that they made it like just an actual open space so maybe she can still see because otherwise why have the open space if there's not literally nothing there so maybe she can see um but man i, I love that like with john i was just like it's, it's now it's either this episode which we didn't see or it's got to be next week's episode like he has to have his semblance now like he not only had it in the you know like every opportunity where he's getting pissed off like he starts off he's the one who kind of kicks everything off where he's getting amped up and of course uh they play like the who are you card and he just loses his mind and he wasn't effing around either which i loved because when cinder had like that one moment where she was down jean was trying to stab her through the face like he tried to just he wasn't trying to like cut her head off he was stabbing forward like it was just like i'm just gonna stab her, like straight through the nose and just go right out the back and so he like chips her armor and misses and i thought when she was standing over him that's when i would activate but you know he's freaking out I'm like it's there's every time it is now and it was such a good moment even though we didn't get to see it which i'm hoping we do i think like everybody it's like every every time something crazy happens it's like this is now this is when we get to see it so hopefully that actually does happen in the next episode but he's like you know if i basically if i die saving them a little bit more time then it's worth it because they're the important ones not me and of course that sends cinder into like full villain mode where she's like i could kill you you're literally under you're, you're like you're under the you know the boot of my foot um i could kill you right here no big deal and it's like oh, okay well i'm just i'm just go over here um you know ruby's knocked out which i thought she was gonna go for ruby which is very interesting that she did it because that's like her whole revenge thing but you know she passes up ruby and of course we had weiss going through like this whole battle uh with the maiden and that was definitely a, a cool fight where she's you know hopping all over the place reflecting the bullets and everything so that was definitely really cool and she's basically just exhausted and so we see cinder make this spear which i have to imagine that they totally did that on purpose which is kind of mean that they made it a spear but she made it a spear and she throws it and of course it you know like i said it goes through weiss's stomach which ultimately not a kill shot of course she passed out crazy moment i don't think anybody needs to freak out of course she is ultimately one of the main characters as well so i you know i just don't think that's gonna happen but i mostly don't think that she'll that weiss is gonna die simply due to the fact that if they were gonna kill her they could have just done it in this episode like why drag it out and then kill her in the next one where it's like super sad and drag like just done they could have done it and it would have been even more insane because it would have been the end of the episode instead of at the beginning where we have time to adjust as we watch so i don't think anything ultimate is going to come from that at least not for weiss it could happen with a different character where they switch it up on us and someone else officially dies 
But I don't think that, you know, we need to really worry about Weistein. I think she'll be fine in the next episode or, you know, wounded, but ultimately alive. Blake will probably come in and it's like, you know, more chaos and stuff there. But, excuse me, crazy way to end it. Uh, there's some other good stuff in here. We got to see Oscar fight against Leo, which is pretty sweet. His weapon was cool, too, where he has, like, this shield. Um, it's, it's almost like a cross between a shield and a bow and arrow. So that I thought was really sweet, where he just spins. It's like a roulette wheel of dust, and it was just, like, a bunch of different things. And he was even combining stuff where he had, like, it was um, rock and fire. So I was like, that's actually a super cool item. And he kind of just spun it, and it was like, all right, well, just mix this with this, and now we got a crazy attack. So I thought that was really, really cool, but... Um, Oscar was awesome in this, where he was, you know, fighting against him and pretty much beating him up the whole time, too, so, love that, all the action that we got to see, you know, a little bit of tension, sibling rivalry there, but definitely a great episode, who knows if Salem will actually show up, I don't think that'll really happen, but that would be a real big twist, um, if they actually do it like the opening, where, you know, eventually when Blake gets there, maybe they heal Weiss with some, you know, like, there's magic officially, so maybe they'll find something there. But if Salem, you know, like actually showed up and everybody had to fight against her, that would be nuts. I don't think we'll actually see that. I think that was just a representation of here's the main enemy and the girls will eventually reunite and stuff like that. But if that really happens, that'll be a crazy way uh, for this season to kind of end out. So either way, I'm looking forward to uh, next week's episode. This is definitely awesome. We got some great action. Uh, I think this was the episode I was really waiting for. Like, I enjoyed the last one, and I think a lot of people, like, really, really loved it. But this was the episode I was waiting for where it was, like, there was definitely talking. Because um, I think it was, like, the first four to six minutes was definitely still talking. But after that, like, the next 12 minutes, there was dialogue, but there was so much crazy action. There were so many different, like, combos of people kind of, you know, strewn throughout this different, uh, like, area, this room. And this was the episode that I was really waiting for. Where I was, like, I'm waiting for just, like, a crazy moment where stuff happens like i enjoyed what we got in the previous episodes where it was like oh there's some action but this is what i was waiting for where it was just like insane and then some crazy stuff actually happened at the end so i love this episode uh very excited for our first episode of the new year but of course i want to know what you guys thought about this one so please comment below let me know your favorite parts about it your least favorite parts about it and naturally, I do want to know your predictions are we going to lose weiss are we not going to lose weiss that's kind of the big question up in the air I really don't think so. Um, even though I've been saying this whole volume, like, yeah, I'm I'm at the point where I think people can die. If it wasn't Weiss or Ruby or Yang, if it was anyone else, I would have been like, they could probably be dead. But it's a main character, like one of the four letters of the show. And they totally could have just done it where she threw the spear straight through her chest. And it would have been guaranteed game over if that's what they really wanted to do. But I think this is more of a just... You know, here's a crazy shocking moment. I don't think Weiss is going to die. If she does, that would be nuts. I would not expect that in the slightest, but that's just me personally. If it was any other character, even if it was, you know, Nora or Ran, I'd be like, I could see them going, but as one of the actual, like, letters in the main title, I just don't, I don't see us losing Weiss. I just don't think it's going to happen. But I would love to know your predictions on whether or not she's going to live or die. I would love to know your predictions on how just things are going to go for this battle in general because it's not like oh that happened and then suddenly in the next episode they're at a hospital like no they're in the battle now so they're there adam is there i still cannot freaking wait for blake to run into adam again um but i'd love to know your predictions based on how the first chunk of this battle went how the rest of this is going to play out because i it's, it's hard to say if blake and the rest of them are actually going to get there in the next episode which is why i feel like they won't show up until like part three or like at the very end of next week's episode i think is when blake and son and everyone else will kind of pop in and the rest of the crew is just going to have to deal with what just happened for like you know the next 15 minutes or whatever the next episode is going to be so that's my theory on it they're just going to have to kind of find a way to keep her alive and i mean i don't know what they're going to do weiss passed out ruby was knocked out so that's two of their people down they still have a maiden to deal with basically te actually they have two technically because i'm not even thinking about cinder as a full-on maiden but she is so they have two maidens to deal with and then everyone else is just strong in general so i don't know maybe blake and them will show up in the next episode because they're going to need the help i don't know how this is going to play out but we'd we'll love to know your predictions like i said just want to know what you guys are thinking in general how you're feeling and with this crazy uh, ending that we got for this week's episode and in general just want to know what you guys thought about this one so please comment below let me know and thanks for watching